Okay guys, I'm Nigel Moore, Gamal Yafai, the middle brother of the Yafai brothers. Gamal, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm all good, thank you. So obviously it's been a long time since you last fought, seven months. What's going on? What's your situation? Um, well, I'm lucky to get out um, end of November or beginning of December. Um, I'm just waiting on confirmation now, um, but it's looking like that. Have you got any names in the line? Nah, no names at all now. Um, I should know in the next two weeks, but yeah, um, I know I'd definitely be fighting sometime November 25th, December 2nd. How frustrating a period has this been for you? Because obviously you know, you're in camp, you're training constantly, but you haven't got an end goal to work towards. Um, see, a lot of fighters would get disheartened and be like, bloody hell, I'm training for nothing, but I think it's just my job. At the end of the day, um, I've got to go to the gym, I've got to train hard, either way if I ain't got a fight or not. Um, just the just way boxing is, I'm not always going to have a fight lined up, um, but I always have to be in condition, good condition, just in case a fight does come up. So, um, yeah, I've been training hard, um, coming to the gym like I normally do. Maybe I don't train as all out as what I would normally do, but I do still train hard, hard enough to get my fitness levels through the roof and um, just, I'm just ready now to fight. Last time I come down, it was just before Carl fought uh, Conception for the world title. Yeah. You said that it was just after you recovered from your heel, that you was recovering from your heel. Yeah. Um, you were saying that you wanted to fight four or five times over this year, and obviously yeah. it hasn't happened yeah. yet. And you wanted to be around either British or European level. Yeah. Do you feel you are at that level now? Yeah, um, that was, how long did it last time I speak to you? A year and a half yeah. ago, something like that. Um, a lot has changed since then. Um, before then, I was a I was a prospect, and I didn't. Ex I've gone up the uh, ladder quite a bit fast. You know what I mean, so um, I was a prospect then. So a prospect's looking to get out four or five times a year. Um, I've put myself past that now. Um, I'm probably, you know, should be fighting three times a year now. So um, yeah, um, I'm happy with that fighting three times a year. It's f f th that'd be perfect for me. So that's what I should be looking at now. Um, Obviously, um, I will fight again before Christmas, so that is three times a year. So I'm not, I'm not too. I am really moaning. Um, I know next year is going to be a big year for me. I'm going to be in big, big fight. So, um, but I'm, but I'm ready for them. I think I think I'm ready for them. Um, I just as long as I'm mentally strong, I think I got the skill set and everything, everything else to go with it. So, but I'm, but yeah, I, I class myself as Euro European level at the minute. I honestly, do. How difficult is it mentally though just to, to stay focused knowing that you haven't got something to work towards? Yeah, it's hard. It's harder than what I'd normally do if I know that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm fighting and, and whatever, but it's, it's one of them. It's just, I just think to, I'd rather to go training and train hard and uh, think at, so I know for myself, you know what, I've give it all. I don't want to be sitting at home doing nothing. Without boxing, I, honestly, I, I go bored, I go in depression mode. So I have to train, I have to go on runs. Um, I can't just be sitting in the house doing nothing or, or going out with my mates and I'm just kidding myself and I'm just just not that, ge that geezer like that. If, if, um, if, I've fought, if, I've, if I've trained hard and I've boxed, I've worn, I'm, I deserve a little break and yeah, I'll go on holiday and whatever else. But I've, 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 not, I've not had a fight or I've not won anything yet to do that. So. After you beat Sean Davies, how surprised have you been with the way that the rest of the year has planned out for yourself? Were you expecting a lot more to Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest with that. Like after I had a good, I had a good performance out. I mean, I had a good, um, very good performance. So I expected much into. Um, I expected to get straight out, like practically, because it only went like six, seven rounds. So I thought, you know, it weren't a hard fight for me. Um, didn't get no cuts or anything, so I expect to be out straight like September, October in a, in, in a good fight, but um, obviously boxing, like I say, boxing is one of them, it don't all turn out, it don't turn out what you think, it's, what, what it's meant to like, so um, yeah, it's just, it's just one of them, it's, it's life, and it? It's sports, it's, everything don't come as how you plan it, how you want it to, so, um, but I'm trying it hard, and I know the, the big fights will come, and the uh, big nights will too, so. Since that night, Sean has got himself a British title fight with uh, Tommy Ward. Yeah. What do you make of that knowing that you beat Sean, but you haven't been able to get that shot? Um, it's just one of them, you know what I mean? It's just, uh, it, was, it, was, it was that Tommy Ward voluntary, weren't it? So, um, uh, obviously he's looking at who can fight and 
probably Sean Davis is a, is a decent fight for him, for, for, for him to take as a voluntary. So, um, yeah, he's probably given the chance. He's, he's, I'll be on, let's be honest, um, he's not going to pick me to fight me, is he? Uh, on just a voluntary. Um, no, no matter what he say, oh yeah, uh, I'll beat you off or whatever, but let's be realistic, he's not just going to pick me. Um, so, it's one of them. Um, it's a good fight. Um, it's, it's, it's a good fight for, for Tommy Ward. It's a good fight for Davis because he's just come off a, a, a hard loss to take. Um, and, and he can bounce back from it now. If, if he gets a good win over Ward, it, it could put into an, That's another big fight down the line. If he wins a British title now, they, I'd have to. I'd be looking like fighting me for, for it because I've, I've got to be mandatory now to, to fight him. I'm the next in line. But like I say, it's. it's um, I'm happy to skip that and go to European level, but but whatever Eddie Hearn and Matchroom can offer, I'll, I'm willing to take. Might be your preference. Would you like to fight for British title? Yeah, I'm not. If 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 it come up, if um, if it come up like Eddie Hearn said, listen, you want the British title shot there for you to take now, I will take it. But if if it was if it's come up in six, I'm just don't want to fancy waiting a year time. By the time, like, let's Tommy Wall's gonna fight Davis. And then if I do get to fight him, it's going to be back in next year, and it's just like I don't want to be waiting around. And f f for them, I, it's my own career I got to think of. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, if if it does come across and it's it's in the near future, then yeah, I'm willing to take it. If it's uh, in the long run, then. But I think Eddie and they they they're thinking that they're on the same like, level. They they think the same as me. So. Um, we'll see what we'll just see how it goes. So ideally for you, we, what, what would you like your career to plan out like over the rest of this year and up until summer to the end of like next year? Um, I'd, I'd like to get obviously I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna get a fight out before Christmas, um, and then um, I'll probably fight again in March somewhere around then, um, and then uh, or if obviously when Carl gets his fight out, over and done with, um, the big nights. Don't look like they're gonna to come to Birmingham again because Cat uh, Cowles look like going off to America after that to fight and that. So um, probably they won't be in Birmingham. No big show. Got it because I love the Birmingham shows. Um, to fight in Birmingham, but um, I, I reckon I should be out in March and then um, fight. F I just want to be a good fight. You know what I mean? Just, just uh, I think think of um, think think I'm ready for that now. Um, I just want to get up that ladder and one day be, be a world champion like my brother and it's, uh, I'm training hard so... How far know. off a world title or a European title for you, do you think you are? Well, I wouldn't say I'm too far, you know what I mean, I wouldn't say I'm too far. Um, def de definitely think of the skill set and um, it's just, it's just, just, just I think I'm good enough, you know, um, it's just experience, I just need to get a few more rounds of big fights, 10 to 12 round fights and then we can go from there and hopefully um, we can get these big fights next year, 2007, 2019. One guy I want to ask you about is uh, Rigondo. Yeah. Would you be open to that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you can do one. <laughs> no, um, nah, no way, man. <laughs> I'm not even Brit. I'm not even in the same sentence as him. You know what I mean? You can, my name's from him, and he's just too good. Um, he just, you know, you know. The thing is, a lot of a lot of um, a lot of fighters my weight will go, yeah, I'll fight him, I'll fight him, but they won't. They, it's just they can. There's no point in me fighting him. He don't bring. You don't, you don't, I'm not near that level yet, I know I. And even if I do, like, when I do get to that level, you don't bring big money. And it is a hard fight. He's good for anyone. I don't see anyone beating him. I don't, the only geezer who's going to beat him is Lemachenko. But that's because Lemachenko is just, just probably the best, well, Willie is the best fighter. He's an easy best, fight going. Yeah, Super Lemachenko will be too big for him. But if Lemachenko was his weight, he wouldn't beat him. Because Lemachenko is a bigger man. He will beat him, and because Lemachenko is just too good as well. But um, yeah, uh, yeah, I think Lemachenko will probably stop him later on. I think, um, but like you say, because because he's because he's a bigger man. If he wasn't a bigger man, I think Rigondo would win. But uh, yeah, Rigondo is just too good. They, them, them two are the best, um, best technically fight, technical fighters ever. I think. Like I just think that unbelievable. The guy who Rigondo did beat when he did have his solitary fight in the UK, Jazza Dickens. What yeah. about a fight with Jazza? Would that be something you'd be interested um, in? Probably not. It's, it's, a, it's not a, a fight. I'm not getting nothing out of it. You know what I mean? Like, um, he didn't hold any titles. Um, he's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a good fighter, but 
it, like I say, don't hold anything. You're not getting. If I box him and beat him, what am I getting out of that? Really, um, I'm ranked above him anyway, so I'm I'm not really getting it. There's, I like Jose. He's a good fighter. He should. The thing is, he's a lot better than what people think, and he's a lot better than what like. See, now he's in a. He's, where he is with his career now, it's like like where's he gonna go kind of thing. But he's a lot better than that. He's a, he, he's a good fighter. So like, he should be up there with the top ones in Britain. He should be. He should be fighting for Europe. He should, he should be now. He should be European champion. For, he's been pro for a long time, and he's good enough. But it's just like you say, everyone's career just goes different ways, and it's just it's just one of them. But um, I wish him well. He's a, he's a nice kid. I used to run the squad with him. Um, we used to go home with we kids together with the GB in England. And that. Nice kid, and he's he's a good, very good fighter. People just because he's lost. He's been unlucky with that Tommy Ward fight. He was unlucky a bit. He's coming on strong. Um, People look at it and go, you know, oh, he ain't got it anymore and whatever. But he's a very hard fight for 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 for, for, for any of the British fighters. If I was to fight him tomorrow, I'd take him serious. He's a hard fight. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think I beat him. I think I beat all of them in in, in Britain. But the hard fights, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, but it's exciting times. So there's good fights to be made. Because you obviously haven't fought for so long as well, would that make you a bit more open? If it was the only name which was to become available, would you just think, okay, um, just to get out? No, nah, because there's plenty of names, there is plenty of names for me to fight. You know what I mean? In my weight division, um, like you say, Eddie, Eddie and Matrim are the best. They can get whoever they want. If they wanted to get me any any fight out there, they can get me. You know what I mean? They're, they're just, the Matrim are very good. and. Um, so I don't think it's the fighters we, we um, we're struggling for. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure among all these fighters that open will will will, will fight me. Um, so um, I don't think it's that. I just think like um, like I say, being honest, he, he doesn't bring anything to the table. You know what I mean, and, and I don't get no recognition for beating him. If I beat him, I don't, I don't really get anything from it. Um, I'm ranked ahead of him, above him. Um, the, the only fight really for me that would be. Beneficial is Gavin McDonnell, and that 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 will happen down the line. He's he's fought for British European. I need to get myself up there a bit, and then we're to, we're we're fine. And we've also got your brother Cal. Uh, he's got I'm not sure if he's chief support or not, but we'll be fighting yeah. AJ under card yeah. on October twenty eighth. How has Cal looked in camp? Oh, very good. Uh, Cal Cal always does. Um, he's just the, the ultimate professional. And, um, lives a life. Um, trains hard. Like you say, he just doesn't think what's coming his way. Um, he, to me, not being biased, I just think he's um, too too good for this kid. But like you say, he's at world level and they bring threats, and it will be a hard fight. But I, I don't see, I just see Cal demolishing him. How exciting a time is this? Not just for him, but for you guys as a family to be able to know if he gets through unscathed against Ishida, he's got some big names yeah. calling him out in a big fight potentially yeah. in Vegas he's yeah. next year. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, but it will only drive him more. The way he is, the way he trains, and that he he, he lives the life massively. So it's it's all in his hands now. He's good enough. He's, I don't think the old the only kids that that the only fighters in his way that I think bother him is um, Inu and um, Estrada. I think I think all the rest. Two I think I, said as well. it's just two pardon. Two names he said would be the toughest. That's thing, what right? I mean. They'd be the toughest in there for like watching them, but. He still can beat these kids, you know what I mean? That people, I, I don't think people give Cal the credit he deserves, you know what I mean? I, like, don't get me wrong, he's world champion and, you know, he's he's only been world champion for a year and he's not he's not uh, beat the big guys yet, but he's, he's calm, he's an all-round good, good fighter. And, and people go, are oh, you his brother though, you think? But uh, honestly, like, Pat, he's got to be one of the pound for pound in Britain for me, he's just... All around you watch him fight, the way he's in training now, just the things he does. I've, d I've watched other fighters, I've watched world class fighters, I've watched world class world champion professionals and amateur, and they, they don't do things Cal does. And um, yeah, it just um, I just think it'd be he get this kid out of the way, and then he can have the big fights in America. If he gets onto an American card, would you like to be on the undercard? Oh, well, I wouldn't say no. Would I? <laughs> nah, I'd love to, yeah. But like I say, I've got a, um, I've got a, I've got these. These fights to get get out of the way first. Need to make a big, big name for myself for for that. So I don't want people to go. Ah, oh, you're only getting these fights because you bother and this and that. Let me let me f get step up the ladder. Let me do it my way. Let me let me beat the top kids and then 
get to his level and people can say, you know what, fair play to him, he's good, you know what I mean? Not because he's brother and this and that, I don't, I mean, I hate when people do say that. Um, when I first saw probably we used to say, oh, because you're brother, because you're brother. But now, this is starting to change now. Oh, he's, people think, oh, he's actually quite good, this, this, this come out. So, yeah, I just want to um, make a name for myself, step, step up there to the British European world and then, yeah. And then finally, I've, I've asked Cal, and the question was, have you got any funny or weird situations where you've been asked, you're seen in public and asked for a photo and all to that? Cal said that he was on the motorway and he got stuck in traffic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's the funniest. When I go out, when I go out, like, club, like say if I go out on the odd night out, or I get a few people on that, but um, the funniest, oh dear, I'm trying to think now. In the air, I've had it in the airport. I was going on holiday. Um, that was one time as well. Um, on the way, well, I was on the way to Sheffield, I think, and uh, someone tried stopping Cal. I bet you know, in, like when Cal's driving, and like the, um, I get bad people like um, Cal. Cal will go, will, will think, oh, there's Cal. Cal see Cal WBA, and then think, oh, he's got a nice mark, so it must be him. And then um, people like Bibbing Cow and like waving at him and that. Um, what else? Uh, that's pretty much it, you know. But yeah, I'm not, I'm, the thing is, I'm a shy lad. I don't, I don't like all that. I don't. See, but I'm not here for this um, long night and that. See, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just in boxing to, you know, um, provide one day provide for my family and whatever. But I'm not, I'm, I don't like all that long night. So. Right, come on, thank you. So, man. Cheers. Cheers.